Hi friends, today we're going to create a very simple snowflake output and then using a key to do a simple absurd. Let's get started. If you haven't already signed up for Absolver or have not created a data source yet, please see the links in the description below. Since we're doing absurd today, I already have a table created in Snowflake called main absolver test. The table has some very simple data set. It has a key, a value, and also event date. Pay attention to the key since we're going to use the key to do the absurd today. Now in your absolver environment, scroll all the way down and select the Snowflake output. Give your output a name and also identify your data sources. Since we're doing upsorting today, I'm going to choose existing table. Click on next. If you haven't created a Snowflake connection, check the instructions in the guide. The guide is linked in the description. From here, I'm going to fill out my Snowflake information, such as schema and the table name. Also, I'm going to specify intermediate storage location. This is where my data is stored before merging into Snowflake. Click on Next. I'm going to flip over to the SQL UI. Keep in mind that everything that I do in the UI will be reflected in the SQL and vice versa. Personally, I like to work with SQL directly. So for the sake of time, I just copy and paste the SQL statement that I'm using today. The key thing to notice here is the replace on duplicate data.key statement. What this is saying is that for every single duplicate key, it's going to be replaced. Also, there's another option to append on duplicate key as well. Since we're doing observe today, we're going to replace. From the sample data, you can see that the key that's different for today is number four. I'm updating it from Tommy to Marky. Click on Run. Here I'm going to define my compute cluster and the interval of time that I want to load the data from and click on Deploy. Give a moment for the data output to update. I'm updating key number four from Tommy to Marky. Flip over to my Snowflake environment and run the query again. And as you can see for key number four, Tommy has been updated to Marky. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.